with the announcement of the new KDN models, I realised I got the last lot of new KDN models, which I guess are now the old new models, or something. But regardless of me keeping up with the times, or lack thereof, this is the Cadian Shock Troops box, the re-release sort of of the early 2000s Cadians with an extra sprue to add options. Here is the original sprue which hasn't been changed in the slightest. Older style sculpting and everything laid out nice and neatly so you can find everything. It builds 10 models with last guns with some options for Sergeant, Vox, Flamer and Grenade Launcher. And you probably also know about the new sprue, now that it's the old new sprue and not the new new sprue. It has all of the other special weapons and options for the Imperial Guard, Sniper, Plasma and Melter, as well as all sorts of options for the Sergeants and a whole heap of spare heads. Especially good to see are some female heads, we've been waiting for those since the original plastic release. And all these options are great, but it makes what is absent all the more striking. With all these extra options, you get nearly 40 heads, 20 pairs of arms, but you still only get 10 models. And while I do like having options, there comes a point where maybe there are too many options, and you're just filling out the bits box endlessly with arms and heads. But, given that I got sent this box by my good friend Ratman, I should probably build up some of these models, just nobody tell him how long it took me. For the video today, I'll make up some special weapons troopers to throw into my Gaunt's Ghosts army. Yes, of course, they're going into my Gaunt's Ghosts army. Well, now there's one thing that I've never been a fan of with the Imperial Guard models, it's this silly side grip. This is partly as it is utterly useless for controlling recoil. Now maybe melters and plasmas don't have recoil, but grenade launchers certainly do. But more importantly, having a good grip on a big old hunk of metal with some worky bits inside is going to be difficult when your grips are at one end and then way off to the side. Well, rather than complain too late, I'll get her out to fixing these oddities with a very convenient parts combination that I noticed. If you take the melter gun right arm, and then the left hand designed for the last guns, that's the left hand that's open and not the ones moulded into the last guns, and I found by swapping that hand onto arm F gives a nearly perfect alignment and looks pretty good. Then I remembered that I kick bashed this other melter gun the last time I did special weapons, and so this fancy shoulder pad was left over. I can't be leaving random bits in the Bix box now, can I? So, I cut the plain pauldron off and replaced it with the detailed one from the Cadian Command Squad. And if they're going to be Gaunt's Ghosts, they will need the Tanith Camo Cloak as well. And as they are Special Weapons Troopers, I thought these Anvil Industries Wasteland Cloaks would be quite interesting. These are the kind of cape style ones, which I'm not a fan of directly, so I'll turn the capes into cloaks by just adding a little bit of milliput around the chest and shoulders, sculpting it into folded cloth. Now I've shown that process on video a few times, and so I won't spend too long showing that off. It just needs some heads now, and you might notice in the background that I've got some extra legs, and those are from Devic Designs. But the torso, arms and head are all official Games Workshop, so it still meets the 70% rule. I did remember that my previous plasma gunner has goggles, and so I found a new head with goggles to match. But that's the models built, and it's just to painting. Now I did this painting on livestream quite some time ago. If I haven't already, remind me to put a link to that in the description. Now I've not done a lot of live streaming recently, I hope to get back to it, but I haven't had a lot of time. But let me know what your thoughts are on all of these options and parts. Is it good to have all of these options for such a small number of models? Perhaps Games Workshop should start selling packs of torso and legs so that we can use up the spare arms with all official parts. And I think this can be helpful for other factions as well. The amount of arms from Tyranids, Orcs, Space Marines and everyone else does show that there is a need here. But I doubt any of that will even remotely happen, so we can stick with the various bits makers and 3D printers to fill in the gaps and use up some, probably not all, but some of the bits that are spare. Well, aside from all of that, 
I got these complete so I could sign off. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Edscar, always will be, and I will see you next time.